When you're debugging things, you need to really keep that flow going and not lose your place. And there's something neat that Laravel can do that isn't configured out of the box. So I'm going to show you. We're going to just go into our roots web and we're going to set up a exception here to say, hey, something hor went horribly wrong. We come back to our application and we refresh it and we get the exception page that everyone is familiar with. But there's no way to really go from here back to your IDE in the right place. But there kind of is. Uh, we can go into our config app directory. And if we set up a key called editor, we can call this VS Code, and it's going to be configured to open VS Code. If I can now go back to this exception and refresh it, you see this is now a link. And when I click this link, it's going to open my editor straight back up to that specific line of code where the exception was being thrown. That is such a time saver. And if I go through other vendor frames as well, or any of the other frames, I can do that and click here, and it's going to open up that line of code right where it is. Really handy, saves you a lot of time. Now, we can look at where this is set up by looking for app.editor usages across Laravel. And we'll see there's a couple of cases where it's doing it in the exception handler section here. So if there is an app editor configured, it will instead make it a link. And if we look at what the editors can be, if we look at this editor href, and we find where this function is being defined, um, I think it's this one. We can look in here, and it's going to find the editor, and it's going to use the editor to determine which one to open. So the editor hrefs are here, and these are all of the available editors. So you can use Atom, Cursor, Emacs, uh, JetBrains, Idea, PHP Storm, VS Code, Xdebug if you want. Any of these you can set up and configure, and you just make this the value, and it's going to work for you. So different people might be working on different uh, IDEs when we're working on our app. So we're not going to hard code this here. Instead, we're going to do the sensible thing and we're going to set an app editor uh, environment variable there. And now I can come along and in my .amv file, I'm going to set up an app editor. And by default, I'm going to call this VS Code. But in the EMV example, I'm going to set it there so that people are aware that it can be set, but I will leave it blank. If you know your entire team is using PHP Storm or VS Code or the same IDE, then by all means, feel free to just make that a default thing. But I go back to here and I refresh and I make sure that still works and it still loads. That's going to save me so much time on debugging things later down the line.